Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Carlos. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to partition your external hard drive. So it, it can be used in gaming mode or in desktop mode through your Steam Deck. Um, I currently own a eight terabyte Seagate external hard drive. Uh, I'll be putting the link in the description. And for Amazon, they're around like $130, $150 um, US of course. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So let's get right into it. So uh, once you load up into your desktop mode, you're going to go over here to application launcher, right? When you go to application launcher, you're going to launch, um, you're going to launch console. You're going to type console right here on a search bar and it's console with a K. Um, you're going to choose this, going to open the terminal and be needing this, put it on the side right here. Make it a little bit smaller. All right. Then you go back into application launcher and you type KDE partition manager. It's going to be right there. The first thing partition editor. Carlos, why are we using a partition editor? What does this application do? All right. <clears throat> when you plug in an external hard drive to your Steam Deck, you have to partition it in order to put any type of storage files into it. So the system can recognize it. Uh, most of the external hard drives need uh, require this form of uh, configuration due to, you know, the Steam Deck requiring all these passwords and administrative requirements. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. It's very quick and easy. No, not too much. Not too much to worry about. <clears throat> so over here on the left hand side, um, we have the console. A little terminal open. So we're going to type in pass WD as in like password, but without an OR. Um, it's going to say changing password for DAC current password. So uh, as you see here, when, when, when you open the KD partition, KDE partition manager, if you're a new user who's never opened that before, you're going to get in really easy. No, no app, no password needed. Um, but once you try to do something, edit one of the tools in there, they're gonna tell you, oh, you need a password, go set a password. So that's why we have the console open to show you how to do a password. So I already have one set up, but for you guys, um, we're going to, um, <clears throat> we're going to, we're going to show you how to do it. So, um, so you see here, I already did it. So this is what it will look like for me. But if you haven't done one, it's going to tell you new password or I don't remember really what it said. I think it was that. Um, you're going to type it. You're going to put your password, but it's going to look like it's not typing. That's fine. Type in your password, click enter. Then you're going to type it in again. Now it's saved. That's your password. All right. So then when you go over here, once you restart this KD partition manager, you're going to type in your password again. And it's going to scan the device for any um, external hard drives, uh, storage, anything, any memory that you have, micro SDs. Um, once it finds it, in my current case, I have two devices. The, um, the, 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 the drive that it has inside, that it comes with a Steam Deck. You know how you choose the, the three, uh, three types of memory that you want. So I chose 256. This is right here, 256 G. Um, but of course, that was running out. I downloaded like three games that did not work out. I had like 14, 15 gigs left. So uh, my grandfather uh, bought me this external hard drive a long time ago, like probably three, four years ago, and I found it. I'm going to put it back to use. So enough of me. Um, so here we have uh, an external hard drive that we can remove. That's why it has like this little like USB thing. Um, so once you click that, well, you're, pre you're presented with this. So this blue that you see right here is um, is a partition that I already allocated. So uh, out of the eight terabytes, I divided this one into three point thirty four terabytes. And then we also have like this other part that is unallocated. So um, you could, if you have it like this, just stay right there. 
But um, for me personally, when I uh, when I plugged in my external hard drive, um, I had this um, a little problem that it didn't let me because I had like different partitions because I also had it plugged into my laptop. So you're gonna go ahead and click the 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 actual uh, desktop. If you see that it's like pinkish, uh, reddish. And you're just gonna click delete. It's gonna reset your entire um, external hard drive, so you could be able to uh, to to allocate it. So once you have this, it says unknown, right? You're gonna click and you're gonna right click it and click renew a uh, new. Sorry guys. <laughs> um. So once you click new, you're gonna go to file system and click ext4. Once you click ext4. You're gonna label it. You can put whatever you want. You can put external. You can put Steam games. You can put whatever, whatever name you want. Just know that that's gonna be your uh, partition. All right. So um, this is this stays like this. This should show you how much you have inside. This stays like this. The size you can adjust it. Um, it's a little bit weird. This means megabytes. Four terabytes is like basically. Uh, 4 million megabytes so you can also adjust to 3 million 2 million however much you have in your hard drives you can change once you have all of that you're gonna click ok and then i'm not gonna do it because i don't want to spend it right now but once you click ok you're gonna go right here see my mouse i'm gonna click apply apply all the operations and it will you know it'll make confirm everything and make make it run so uh, right here on your bottom right corner, I'm going to click this, and it's going to say disk and device. So this is your thing is going to appear here, your uh, partition, which is where mine is. I, I called it Steam Games. And then right here, you're going to put, it's going to say mount it. Click on it. You're going to click on it, and once you do, um, once you once you mount it, open it. Uh, you'll be able to see it on your files, file manager, or how they call it here in Steam Deck Dolphin. Um, and you're going to go all the way to the bottom, and you're going to see Steam Games, and, or whatever uh, whatever name, whatever label you put onto your uh, partition. Uh, you're going to see Lost and Found. Uh, this is from... So, so I... Put some games here, as you can see. The Steam apps common. I had three games in total in all my Steam. I know I'm a I'm a new user. Uh, I have Cyberpunk 2077 and Elden Ring. Um, so I transferred it over to this um these uh <clears throat> this folder. And once you see it here, everything should be okay. This is just an extra thing that I put here, another folder. Um, you're gonna go to. So you're you're gonna see that if you right if you right click it and go to properties, go to permission, the user and the group is gonna be set to root. We want the user to be set to deck, right? So how do we do that? I'm going to show you. So you exit out of that, put this to the side. And um, you're going to go over to your console. Uh, let's do a new tab because this is easy. All right, so you're going to you're going to start over your um you're going to start your whole console again, basically. You can click New Tab, and it will erase all the stuff on the, on the previous one. So you're going to go right here, and you're going to and you're gonna type out PWD, and click Enter, right? And then you're going to uh, type uh, LS, and once you type S LS, you're going to do CD slash R. Um, and then CD, wait, let me see, I 
probably wrote it wrong. You gotta pick it. These are things that you have to like do very specifically because if not, um, it's not gonna. It's, what he wants is not gonna happen. All right, so I did something wrong. All right, let's see. PDW, LS, PD. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me. Is it because I changed it? No, but that wouldn't be a problem. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, all right, so I found the problem. So we're going to do a new tab again. We're going to click, we're going to do PWD LS. Um, and then we're going to do, um, CD space slash R UN slash media slash deck slash click enter. We're going to be set with the deck, right? So once you do that, um, into ls and once you click ls your the name of your partition should appear there um and then you're gonna type this specific word down sudo ch, ch, uh, ch own like change the owner the deck and the name of your partition slash and then you're gonna click enter and it's gonna ask you for the password of the deck. Remember we set it up? That's the same one you're gonna put and then you're gonna click enter. And once you do, um, hold up. Once you do in the file manager, uh, the Steam games should appear as deck. The user is the deck. Uh, <clears throat> So once you do that, you're going so far so good. So far so good. We're gonna go to um the Steam application. You 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 can do it through here or you can just go right here. Um right click it and go to settings, go to downloads, steam library folders, and you should see a plus right here. Once you add, once you click the plus, it's gonna ask you add a new Steam library folder. You're gonna click add if that's the partition you made. All right, we're not gonna add it because we already have it. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna show you how to um set up the auto mount, the auto mount. My bad. So that basically does that every time you, you plug it into the external hard drive, it automatically recognizes it and downloads anything into the um it downloads anything into the external hard drive rather than your actual memory. So we're gonna go here, click new tab again. Um ah, damn. Oh no, my bad, my bad. Don't go back to this one. My bad. If you don't know how to get back, um, just do. I mean, it's pretty much set up there. You, you could just do a sudo nano 
we're gonna do the out the outer mount right now. Pseudo nano slash I mean space slash etc slash f fab and you're gonna click enter. I ask you for your uh oh, I messed it up already. Up. So you're going to do sudo. I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, these passwords, you got to like do it with precision. All right. Now you're going to. All right. Once you get the right password. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you're going to be presented with this screen. Let's make it larger. So uh, let's exit this. Um, we can exit this. All we need is console and file, a dolphin. You call it file manager. So when you have those two open up, so you're going to go over here to dolphin and right click it, add properties. And you're going to see. Um, Where is it? All right, I'll, I'll, let me do this part first then. Um, so you're gonna, I, I already did it, but I, I can, let me see if I can do it again. Uh, so you're gonna do UUID equals, and then this code that you're gonna find is um okay my bad so we need to go to uh go back to kde partition partition manager sorry this is taking so long uh go to where your partition was and then you're going to click properties on the exact one Copy, paste, right? Once you do, space, slash, run, slash, media, slash, deck, and the name of your external hard drive. Once you do, you're going to space, ext, or, which is the property name that you put on it, space, Default, comma, no fail, space zero, space zero. And you're going to click enter. Once you do that, the system should recognize that it, now you have the auto merge on, on file. So whenever you, you plug in the external hard drive, it should appear there. Um... So you're gonna go back to this the theme the the, uh, the gaming mode, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Watch. So once you click enter, um, close all this. And we're gonna. Hey guys, so once you're into the gaming mode, I've been trying to find out how to screen record, but I couldn't. I'm just going to show you. You're going to go to the menu. You're going to go to settings. Then you're going to scroll down all the way to storage. If when your uh, external hard drive um, is plugged in, you should see it right here. Um, if you don't see it, um, probably because you didn't add it when I told you to and uh, so when you press when you go all the way to the right hand uh, the bottom corner you right click it and you go to settings
something called the Steam Downloads Library. That's probably why you don't see it here, but it should appear here with um, your games or any. It, you probably don't have anything, but the star means that it's the primary. Uh, if you want to transfer something, just click on it and it should say move content. Uh, once you click move content, it says, do you want to move it to the external hard drive? You can click move or cancel, it's up to you. But that's it, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you, I'll give me a like and subscribe. Uh, and happy new year to everyone, bye.